Hello and welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toy in here for the final installment for now of my grad school prep series. Today I'm sharing my biggest mistake that I made in grad school and I'm going to share the whole story so that hopefully you won't make the same mistake that I did. As I mentioned, this is the last installment of my grad school prep series for now. I will put a link to all of the other videos as well as the playlist for this series in the description of this video. So this series is sponsored by my new course, Grad School Prep, and it's a course for students who have just been accepted into grad school and are looking to figure out what do you need to expect, how should you prepare for grad school. So inside, I teach you the mindset, time management, and productivity skills that you need to succeed and excel in grad school. And if you want a sneak peek, I have a free training called Five Reasons Students Are Underprepared for Grad School and How to Prepare Yourself. I'll put a link in the description of this video so that you can check out my free training so you know how to prepare for grad school. So I'm Toyin, I'm the founder of the Academic Society. I got my PhD in math and I landed my dream job as a lecturer. I also create these videos for grad students and academics to help with time management, productivity, and I also share my academic lifestyle in these videos. So today I'm sharing my biggest mistake that I made when I first started grad school. And if you are a current grad student, I would love if you go to the comments and share one thing that you did that you would actually warn other grad students, especially new grad students, against doing that thing. Let us know in the comments. I think it'll be really helpful um, for anyone who is new to grad school. I will begin this topic with telling the story of my first semester of grad school. I actually was very excited about grad school. I thought that I would have had it all figured out, that I would be super prepared because I'm an organized person, I'm a planner, I'm good with time management. I thought grad school would be just an extension of undergrad, aka a breeze, spoiler alert. It was not. I said that I would work on my homework as soon as it was given. Um, so in math, we didn't really have papers. We had homework assignments and solutions to write up. Um, so I said that I would work on that as soon as it was, the homework assignment was given and I did that. A couple of the classes I really excelled in, but there was one class that I did not excel in and that was topology. It was a class I had never heard of before. I had no like background in the subject. So I was just going in completely blind into that class. And so the first test didn't go great. I think I made like a D or so, maybe a B on the second test. But by the end of the semester, my professor told me that he was not going to give me a grade for that class. He told me he was going to give me an incomplete. I was not the only one who got an incomplete for the class, but it was very like gut wrenching, like, oh no, did I just fell out of grad school? And so with the incomplete, you just have until probably a year to sort things out with your professor, make up whatever grades you missed, get some new understanding, and then the professor will change your grade. So for me, I had I took that class in the fall. So in the spring semester, I had to meet with my professor every single week and go to the board and prove all of the theorems that we learned in that class. It was grueling. I cried multiple times. It was so hard. However, by the end of that process, I knew topology. I would have easily made an A in a topology class. Unfortunately, because he gave me an I, he said it wouldn't be fair to give me an A at the end of it. I ended up with a B in that class. But the mistake was I was not preparing for that class the way that I should. The thing that I didn't know was that the other grad students were reading the textbook ahead of time. They were studying before we actually got to class. So class time was more of a review for them and I was just learning things for the first time. I didn't have a full understanding of the course, but through that experience of having to prove things on the board, proving things from scratch, not using notes, it helped me figure out how to prepare it to succeed in other classes from there. So I told you this story to tell you you have to put away undergraduate ways when you go to grad school. So that's actually one of my five reasons students are underprepared for grad school in my free training. I talk about an undergraduate mindset and you have to put that away and move on to a grad school mindset. My undergraduate mindset was I do well when I listen in class and take notes and I understand that way. But in grad school, I needed to study beforehand, before I even got to the class. And so that was a rude awakening for me. 
So your action step for this video is to read up on the topics that you will be studying when you start grad school. So become familiar with the topics for the classes that you will be taking. Read before class. So things you can do now is start being familiar with the content now. Okay, so as I mentioned, I do have a free training called Five Reasons Students Are Underprepared for Grad School and How to Prepare Yourself. I put a link in the description of this video. Definitely check that out. And when you do, you'll see um, my course, Grad School Prep, and you will be prompted to join that course if you would like to know all of the mindset, time management, and productivity skills you need to succeed and excel in grad school. If you like this kind of video where I share something that you shouldn't do in grad school, I have a full video called How to Be a Bad Grad Student, and it's kind of a case study based on a Netflix show called You. There's a student in that show who is a grad student, and she is a horrible grad student. So I broke down the terrible things she did and talked about how you should not do that in that video. So I will also link that video in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you like this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I, create, I post new videos every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.